Flecainide acetate, Flec INYDE, is a class IC antiarrhythmic agent used to prevent and treat tachyrhythmias, abnormal fast rhythms of the heart. It is used to treat a variety of cardiac arrhythmias, including paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, episodic irregular heartbeat originating in the upper chamber of the heart, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, episodic rapid but regular heartbeat originating in the atrium, and ventricular tachycardia, rapid rhythms of the lower chambers of the heart. Flacanide works by regulating the flow of sodium in the heart, causing prolongation of the cardiac action potential. Flacanide is sold under the trade name Tambocor, manufactured by 3M Pharmaceuticals. Flacanide went off patent on February 10, 2004. In addition to being marketed as Tambocor, it is also available in generic version and under the trade names Almeridum, Apocard, Acrenal, and Flacane. Medical uses Flacanide is used in the treatment of many types of supraventricular tachycardias, including AV nodal re-entrant tachycardia AVNRT, and Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome WPW. This is because of the action of flacanide on the Hisperkinji system. It also has limited use in the treatment of certain forms of ventricular tachycardia VT. In particular, flacanide has been useful in the treatment of ventricular tachycardias that are not in the setting of an acute ischemic event. It has use in the treatment of right ventricular outflow tract RVOT, tachycardia and in the suppression of arrhythmias in arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia ARVD. Studies, notably the cardiac arrhythmia suppression trial, have shown an increased mortality when flacanide is used to suppress ventricular extrasystoles in the setting of acute myocardial infarction. In individuals suspected of having the Brugada syndrome, the administration of flacanide may help reveal the ECG findings that are characteristic of the disease process. This may help make the diagnosis of the disease in equivocal cases. Flacanide has been introduced into the treatment of arrhythmias in the pediatric population. Side effects Results of a medical study known as the Cardiac Arrhythmia Suppression Trial CAST, demonstrated that patients with structural heart disease such as a history of meat heart attack, or left ventricular dysfunction, and also patients with ventricular arrhythmias, should not take this drug. The results were so significant that the trial was stopped early and preliminary results were published, the dose may need to be adjusted in certain clinical scenarios. As with all other antiarrhythmic agents, there is a risk of proarrhythmia associated with the use of flacanide. This risk is probably increased when flacanide is co-administered with other class IC antiarrhythmics, such as incanide. The risk of proarrhythmia may also be increased by hypokalemia. The risk of proarrhythmia is not necessarily associated with the length of time an individual is taking flacanide, and cases of late proarrhythmia have been reported. Because of the role of both the liver and the kidneys in the elimination of flacanide, the dosing of flacanide may need to be adjusted in individuals who develop either liver failure or renal failure. Because of the negative enotropic effects of flacanide, it should be used with caution in individuals with depressed ejection fraction, and may worsen congestive heart failure in these individuals. It should be avoided in people with ischemic heart disease and the elderly, as with all class 1 antiarrhythmic agents, flacanide increases the capture thresholds of pacemakers. Cardiac toxicity Due to the narrow therapeutic index of flacanide, physicians should be alert for signs of toxicity before life-threatening arrhythmias occur like torsades to points. While the toxic effects of flacanide are closely related to the plasma levels of the drug, it is unfeasible to check the plasma concentration in an individual on a regular basis. Signs of flacanide toxicity include marked prolongation of the PR interval and widening of the QRS duration on the surface ECG. There may be signs and symptoms attributable to overt heart failure secondary to sudden decreased myocardial contractility. Treatment. Treatment of flacanide cardiac toxicity involves increasing the excretion of flacanide, blocking its effects in the heart, and, rarely, institution of cardiovascular support to avoid impending lethal arrhythmias. Modalities that have had success include administration of a beta sympathomimetic agent, and administration of a sodium load, often in the form of hypertonic sodium bicarbonate. 
Placing the individual on cardiopulmonary bypass support may be necessary in order to temporarily remove the need for a beating heart and to increase blood flow to the liver. Lung toxicity Flacanide has a very high affinity for lung tissue and is associated with drug-induced interstitial lung disease. Mechanism of action Flacanide works by blocking the NAV 1.5 sodium channel in the heart, slowing the upstroke of the cardiac action potential. This thereby slows conduction of the electrical impulse within the heart, i.e. it reduces excitability. The greatest effect is on the Hisperkinji system and ventricular myocardium. The effect of flacanide on the ventricular myocardium causes decreased contractility of the muscle, which leads to a decrease in the ejection fraction. The effect of flacanide on the sodium channels of the heart increases as the heart rate increases. This is known as use dependence and is why that flacanide is useful to break a tachyrrhythmia. Flacanide also inhibits ryanodine receptor 2, RYR2, a major regulator of sarcoplasmic release of stored calcium ions. It can reduce calcium sparks and thus arrhythmogenic calcium waves in the heart. While flacanide therapy has been shown to suppress ventricular arrhythmias in patients with catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia CPVT, and mouse models of this disease, the relative contribution from the inhibition of sodium channels and of RYR2 in this effect on CPVT is unclear. Metabolism and drug interactions Flacanide has high bioavailability after an oral dose, meaning that most of the drug that is ingested will enter the systemic bloodstream. Peak serum concentrations can be seen 1 to 6 hours after ingestion of an oral dose. While the plasma half-life is about 20 hours, it is quite variable, and can range from 12 to 27 hours. During oral loading with flacanide, a steady-state equilibrium is typically achieved in 3 to 5 days. The majority of flacanide is eliminated by the kidneys, with the remainder metabolized by the cytochrome P452D6 isoenzyme in the liver. Therefore, alterations in renal function or urine pH will greatly affect the elimination of flacanide, as more is eliminated by the kidney than by the hepatic route. Because of the dual elimination routes of flacanide and its tendency to decrease myocardial contractility, flacanide interacts with numerous pharmaceuticals and can potentiate the effects of other myocardial depressants and AV node blocking agents. In addition, flacanide can decrease the metabolism or elimination of many, but not all, agents that use the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. A full list of drug interactions with flacanide can be obtained from the manufacturer. Some important drug interactions with flacanide include Alcohol, may further depress normal heart function Amiodarone, inhibits cytochrome P452D6 and may increase flacanide levels Cimetidine, increases flacanide levels by 30% and half-life by 10% Digoxin, may increase digoxin levels. Paroxetine, increased effect of both drugs. Propafenone, increased effect of both drugs and increased risk of toxicity. Quinidine, inhibits cytochrome P452D6 and may increase flacanide levels. Long-term effects. In the long term, flacanide seems to be safe in patients with a healthy heart with no signs of left ventricular hypertrophy, ischemic heart disease or heart failure. Overdose Flacanide intoxication is rare but serious due to the cardiogenic shock that it provokes. Its diagnosis can be difficult in the lack of contributing anamnestic elements. Clinical and paraclinical signs are not specific. Treatment is primarily symptomatic, which gives good results thanks to the hypertonic solution of sodium salts. Organ donation is possible in the case of braindead patients who suffered a flacanide intoxication. References External links Rx list, Tambocor, flacanide